back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Tech Talk here at the SG Taurus Company. I'm your host, Matt LePan, joined, as always, by one of our great technical support representatives. Today, it's Ken Gott. And Ken, we're continuing to talk Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station. Recently, we talked about setting up the Kumo Cloud, basic setup and installation. You had mentioned at the end of it that we were going to talk about some of the accessories that go with it. Well, today, we're talking about setting up the Kumo Cloud wireless temperature humidity sensor. And this is Kumo Cloud only, but this is something that's a great accessory to have and is really just going to help your system run at optimal levels. Yes, absolutely. This accessory is used with the Kumo Cloud wireless interfaces. Also, it will tie in at a later date to the Kumo station. But what this sensor allows you to do, it allows you to remotely sense your temperature and humidity in a space comes particularly in handy if you have a wall mount type unit that is up high and you want to sense the temperature down lower in the space. But again, this is used with all indoor units. It can also be used in conjunction with the Kumo station, which we'll talk about at a later date, but it, this also would tell the Kumo station what the humidity is in the space and it could actually activate a humidifier or dehumidifier. Prior to sensor setup, installation of the Kumo wireless interface should be installed and functioning from within the app so you have control of the units from within your app. To start the setup you want to go into settings, system setup, installer settings, again log in with your user code 9999, tap on the zones with the existing indoor units, you tap in advanced, add accessory. At this point, the app is going to start searching with its Bluetooth for the local wireless sensor. At that point, what you want to do is take the wireless sensor, remove the tape that is covering the battery inside, pull that out. At that point, you should hear a tone. If you don't hear that tone, what you can do is simply tap the sensor on a hard surface, and also you can also see it pull up on your app. So if you don't hear the chirp, if either it didn't activate or you're deaf like I am, you can tap it on the table. If it chirps or when you tap it on the table, then you should see it within the interface on your phone, correct? That's right. You don't even have to hear the sound. Just as long as you see it come up on your app, you'll know that you're good. Once the sensor is identified in your app, you can select it. And then at that point, you have to tell it which indoor unit you want it paired with. Then you simply tap save and the sensor will be added and be controlling that indoor unit that you have selected. Just repeat this step with all, all the additional sensors for every indoor unit. Keeping in mind that this, these sensors work on Bluetooth and they have to be pretty much 10 feet plus or minus from the wireless interface, unobstructed. When you're mounting the sensor on the wall, they do give you some double stick Velcro. You want to make sure the small hole is where the temperature is being sent that faces into the space. And is there an ideal space to put these, or is it pretty much just based on the space itself? You know, do you want to put this down near the floorboards or at eye level, or where would you suggest an installer put these? Mount it like you would any room thermostat, usually typically like five feet off the floor, away from any sunlight or anything that could influence the temperature change. So... Like you said, like a normal thermostat, inside wall, keep it out of the sun, make sure it's not, you know, able to be ripped down by a, a kid or an animal. Yeah, a absolutely. Just like you would any other room thermostat. And then you just go around and similar to like we talked about in the last podcast with the setup, do this for every indoor unit that you want to install this accessory with and you're done just like that and you're getting your already awesome system with Kumo Cloud even better because now you're sensing the humidity as well. That's correct. Great. Well, we want to thank Ken for coming on here and talking this setup with us. This is a great accessory to add on to your Kumo Cloud system. Like Ken said, this will also tie into Kumo Station. We'll talk Kumo Station at a little bit later of a date, but if you have any questions at all on anything Kumo Cloud or Kumo Station, make sure you're calling the tech line. You can talk to Ken, you can talk to any of the other guys as well, whether it be Phil or Mark or Russell. These guys know what they're doing, and they'll be able to get you all the information you need. The number for the tech line is 978-657-4768. Again, 978-657-4768. You'll be put in the queue, and as soon as one of these guys can get to you, they will. If you have any other questions, you can check out our website. A lot of information on Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station there, including our prior podcasts. I want to thank Ken again for joining us and giving us the information. I want to thank you all out there for listening. 
Make sure to subscribe to the podcast on the iTunes or Google Play Store. You can also listen on TuneIn or subscribe on Spotify. For all those, search Taurus Tech Talk. Follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Use the hashtag Taurus Tech Talk. And as always, listen to our podcast on our website, sgtaurus.com backslash podcasts. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next week on Taurus Tech Talk.